What's up, Reef Fanatics? In today's podcast episode, we have 10 Reef Palooza tips for you that is going to help make your Reef Palooza experience that much more enjoyable. And today we have Levi Peterson. What's up? Dude, Reef Palooza is here. It is finally here. I mean, yeah. this is this is one of those events that people wait for every year. And Reef Palooza, they're celebrating 10 years being in Orlando. What do you think about that? Yeah, it's a great show. One of my favorites, especially like it's not very far from us, you know, so it's super cool. And I'm always excited to go check it out and maybe find a couple corals or whatever. Bring back some dry goods because there's always good sales and stuff. So it's a two day event. So if you're new to Reef of Palooza or you're you were kind of on the fence, should I go? Should I not go? I mean, I recommend going even if you're new to the hobby. This is a way to kind of experience a little bit of everything and kind of take a look at what other reef keepers are looking at, what's kind of trending or popular and what new equipment and products are, are coming out, right? Yeah, for sure. And one thing with that specifically, I mean, yeah, you can go to your store and like listen to your like your store owners or store workers like explain like, you know, certain products that you're trying to decide on, but at the show specifically, you get to pretty much talk to the people that manufacture them and that make them and that design them. So it's always good to, you know, go and get your like an actual personal take from the people that make the product on what you need for your aquarium and help you decide that. Yeah, for sure. Because how many times do you buy a product and you, you bring it home to set it up or put it on your aquarium and you're like, is this really how this works? Or how, how much do I need to dial in this skimmer or whatever product, you know, and you just have these questions come up. And to your point, you can talk directly to them specifically about their product and either choose to go with that product or not. Or maybe you have it at home and you're like, it's not really working the way I want to. What am I doing wrong? And they can steer you in the right direction. Absolutely. Reef of Palooza two day event here in Orlando, Florida. It's going to be April 20th and 21st. What do you look forward to with Reef of Palooza or shows like this? So I always look forward to, you know, hanging out with the people, you know, meeting people, you know, that enjoy like my content and your content and all like just meeting people in general is always really fun. And also seeing some of the new products that are coming out, you know, to help us better our aquariums as technology gets better. And just, you know, checking out corals. Obviously, we're in this hobby. We all love corals and there's always some really unique stuff there. I mean, everyone brings something different. I like not necessarily, like, you know, different like species and stuff, but like different like morphs and different just different colors and such. So it's always cool to go check it out. Some people bring some really weird stuff, you know, which is, you know, what I'm looking for. Of course. But yeah. So we'll go ahead and jump into a few tips here and kind of explain, you know, how we go about the Reef of Palooza Day. Yeah, absolutely. So we wanted to put together a few tips and I've done a video about this on the channel before. So if you search on the Coral Reef Talk YouTube channel, I do have kind of a tips guide that'll walk you through like your first time at Reef of Palooza. But we kind of wanted to talk about this because it, it's happening like right now. By the time you're watching this or seeing this post, Reef of Palooza is going on. And so if it's your first time, what do you need to do? And so the first thing that we come up with was to check the floor plan. That's probably one of the most important things. And if you go to Reef of Palooza's website, you can see the floor plan of all the vendors that are going to be there, all the different companies. And you can like, if you have a specific store you're looking for or a group of stores, like maybe you're from out of state and you like worldwide corals content and Maybe you like top shelf, top shelf aquatics content. You can see, oh, both of them's there. Where are they at on the map? And then go take a look at them. Yeah, for sure. Or like for say, you know, a lot of stores, you know, start posting stuff about what they're going to bring, you know, to the shows. And mm -hmm. for say, you found like a store online that posted a photo of like this amazing coral that they're bringing to Reef of Palooza. So, I mean, it gets pretty hectic at Reef of Palooza. You know, there's a lot of people and they all like as soon as the door is open for the main, you know, pass, it gets pretty hectic. So if you have in mind where exactly you need to go to try to find that specific coral that you want, it makes it a lot easier than kind of scrambling through a bunch of people. Yeah, that that's a good point. You can beat the crowd and get to the vendor you want to get to. And especially if you're only there for one day. Like you need to like get in and get out and make sure you get that coral you're looking for. Absolutely. Uh, I don't know if you follow, do you follow Coral King on Instagram? Yes. So really? Coral King recently posted a video of this amazing looking splatter like wall hammer. Yeah. 
and I'm like, dude, how much is that? I like, I hope they bring that to the show. Like, I want to go get that. But yeah, to your point, you see someone you like posting online and they're at the show, boom, beeline right for them. But yeah, just checking out the floor plan also gives you a layout of the land, right? So you know where the raffle area is, you know where the kids zone is. And that's another really cool thing about Reef of Palooza is that they have a kid's area a kid's zone so they have face painting and stuff like that so looking at the map you know where that is this year they have an aquascaping contest did you sign up for that i did not no i saw something in my email that you could have signed up for it and i'm like oh maybe maybe i should have but i didn't get to sign up as well but i think there's like eight people doing an aquascaping contest so that should be fun and the winner gets some free marco rock so hey there you go so tip number one check out the floor plan know where you're going to go, know who you want to visit, make a beeline right for them. The next tip, I would say the next tip would be to show up early because that line is, is huge. That line yeah, is really, big, really long, fills up really quick. I mean, I see videos, any, like any Reef of Palooza video, you see the Reef of Palooza line in that video. Like that's, I don't, I don't yeah, know if you've noticed that. That was insane. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, just going off on a little funny tangent here, that's one thing that makes me laugh all the time is that we film the line to Reef of Palooza, like every video, someone has the line. No, it just keeps on going too. It always is just so <laughs> around, around the building. wrapped yeah. around like five times, goes all the way around the whole like convention building. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy because like I help some people set up and stuff. And like we're getting there as soon as like vendors are starting to get in there and start like, you know, finishing their setups and making sure everything's ready to go. And there's already people sitting at the door like the, the first day of Reflusa, like hours and hours ahead of time, you know, just because they want to get in there and get the first look at things. I mean, it's pretty insane, you know. But yeah, like I said earlier, if you want something specific, you better take action on it, especially, you know, if that yeah. store was posting it up and making it a popular topic. So definitely take advantage and get there early. Yeah, absolutely. And another good thing about getting there early is that the platinum sponsor is Reef Nutrition. Silver sponsors, Marco Rock. Saltwater sponsor, Two Little Fishies. All these different sponsors provide things in the giveaway bags at the front door. So if you get there early, you'll most likely get one of these bags before they run out. Yep, absolutely. So there's a lot of good stuff in here. I wonder if I have anything left to show. But yep, last year you got some ICP test. You get little, lots of little goodies, some Kimmy Pure stuff in there, some pins, you know, a lot of cool stuff, a lot of free giveaway stuff in the sponsored bag that you get if you get there early and you're one of the first ones in line. Yeah, so, for sure. But I mean, if you really want the bag, I mean, you're talking like hours and hours early though. Yeah. To be like the first one. Yeah, I think it's usually, I, I don't know if it's the first hundred or a couple hundred or something to mm -hmm. get the freebie bag, but definitely worth it. Yeah, absolutely. And so have you heard of Printed Reef? They are making reef safe 3d printed aquarium products for your reef tank like this copper band butterfly fish feeder right here they also make the sand stands for your corals so you don't need super glue to put your coral frags in your tank you can just put them in the sand stand right levi yeah put them down in your sand and you're good to go so if you're a reef fanatic that loves the coral reef talk podcast you can save 10 percent off of your printed reef order if you go to printedreef.com slash the coral reef talk and use the code the coral reef talk at checkout you will get 10 percent off your entire order so go ahead do that you can do that now if you want to yeah you can pause the video make sure you come back but yeah definitely do or just do it after you watch the video and then yeah we're good so make sure you do that printedreef.com slash the coral reef talk moving right along to number three we're going to talk about coral sh shopping so if you are looking for corals reef of palooza is a great event to pick up corals because like you mentioned earlier there's a ton of different vendors that come from all over and set yeah. up at reef of palooza so you got tons of corals to choose from everywhere here's a little clip this clip is actually from our 50 dollars challenge which was a lot of fun to do uh, yeah, so if you're new to that one, me and Levi was in a challenge against each other. Who could find the best coral for $50? And then we had Julian Sprung judge the contest at the end. So he was there to choose the winner, which one of us got the best coral. And I have to say it, you beat me twice in a row. Three-peat. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he's <laughs> calling out the three-peat. Uh-oh. Spoiler alert. If you want to see how he 
beat me in those two videos. We'll link them up in the description below. You can watch those after this. Check out the challenge. It was a lot of fun. But yeah, back to tip number three. There's a ton of vendors, tons of corals to check out. So definitely plan on going on a coral shopping spree. And you may want to may want to create a budget for that, right, Levi? Yeah, definitely. You know, I always try to put a little aside, especially like a, a few weeks out, I start setting, you know, some money aside just to make sure I have some stuff because there's always something you know you've never seen before. So yeah, for sure. And I I think you said you were looking for, of course, the oddball corals, but what anything like any kind of specific odd coral that you've been thinking about having that you haven't come so, across that you might want to find? There's a couple a vendor specifically that's been yeah. bringing in some stuff from Western Africa that's going to be there, and they got some pretty cool tunicates and gorgonians that they've been posting. So we'll see what the booth looks like and how they look. But I'm going to go check those out and see you know how they look and maybe add some to the debrief. So nice. It sounds like a plan. I have a couple of vendors I want to check out as well. Coral King is one of them. I'm actually probably going to hit them up first just because I felt bad about last year. I was planning on getting something from them. And then last second during the challenge video, well, I'll save that for you. You guys that haven't watched the challenge video, you'll see what happened with that. But yeah, I'm definitely going to check out Coral King. They have some amazing mushroom corals there. So yeah, for sure. Uh, but like, this year, I actually plan on trying to bring home a nice red and green Welso. I've been looking for one of those for a really long time. I used to have yeah. one many years ago, but you can kind of see the corals in this tank here. You got the torches, you got some blastos, you got some Welsos, trachees in there. You got Ilias back there, yeah, some I mean, stuff. Wow. Yeah, so really cool stuff. And that's Living Reef, which I'm a huge fan of Living Reef, even more so than like Worldwide Coral, I think. Yeah, they got some nice stuff. And I mean... All the vendors, you know, at Reef Palooza specifically, Reef Palooza takes pride in all their vendors because they're all top quality. You're going to see some really nice corals and just yeah. top of the line quality, you know, so. Yeah, absolutely. And here's this clip that I shot just walking through. I've been going pretty much every year since 2015, I believe. So I like to take different clips of different shows. This is from the 2019 Reef Palooza. But if you're looking for coral, you will be able to find a deal somewhere at Reef yeah. Palooza, you'll be able to find like, look at that bounce mushroom there. That looks pretty cool, huh? What do you think? You like those corals? Yeah, those are nice. But even if you're only seeing expensive corals, there's $10 corals. There's like four for 25. They, they got different deals. Look at that $10 corals right there. A lot of things to choose from. So if you're planning on doing a coral shopping spree, that'd be number three on our list. Yeah, and I mean, another thing, you know, with the deals and stuff that you were mentioning, the vendors are there to sell, you know, and they're they, a lot of them don't like to take things home, you know, because it's more work for them in the end. So a lot of them, especially on the second day, I feel like uh, personally, they're willing to, you know, work with you. And usually the first day they work with you pretty well as well. But if you're there a second day, you're probably going to get some better bargains. So just keep that in mind. But if there are specific corals that you specifically want, definitely take advantage of that and try to get those the first day because stuff starts selling pretty quick. Yeah. I, I agree with that. I think second day as well, you can probably work the deals, work the bargains because some of these coral vendors are from out of state. So they're going to have to haul all of those corals back. But if they could sell to you, maybe you could work out a deal with them would be another tip there, which will bring us to our next one. I'm actually going to flop a couple on our list, but we're going to cash or credit. What do you recommend bringing to the show? So personally, you know, I think cash is king. You know, it gets you some better deals because they don't have to deal with all the credit card fees and, the, you know, the mess of like using the credit card machine and trying to get the credit card machine to connect to the Internet because I always feel like that's always an issue, like at any show. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, I definitely think cash is definitely, you know, you're able to work some better deals because, you know, they don't really have to mess with it as much um, and they don't have the fees. So I, that's personally why I would recommend cash. Um, so. Yeah, I mean, I I kind of feel like credit card is the way just because it can be faster. But I do get the the point of maybe like the Wi Fi connection or something on their card readers may act up so that that way cash can be a lot faster. So yeah. that makes sense to me. And then also, like you're saying, the, the fees, like if they don't have to deal with that, that's for them. So cash would probably be better accepted as well. So maybe cash is king. So I do like that tip. Maybe a little bit of both. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, the main thing that I, I would like to get across with buying corals and spending cash or credit, make sure you have a budget. It's very important to budget for this. Say, hey, yeah. I'm bringing like a couple hundred dollars, like $300 for corals or something or a hundred bucks, depending on 
your budget. Some corals can be expensive, so it depends on what you're looking for. I mean, I was looking for a bounce mushroom for a while, and I remember when I first started looking for them, they were thousands of dollars, and now they're a couple yeah. hundred dollars. Yeah, they've went down in price. Yeah, so, yeah, I would say, what, mm -hmm. a hundred dollars for corals? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I always try to, you know, do my best to budget, but half the time, I don't know if there's a single time. I've went to a show and left under budget. Usually I'm a little over, which is okay, you know, as long as you can take it. But yeah, yeah I always go over budget. Usually I try really hard, but there's some things I just can't pass up. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely like, I'll look for like the 25, the four for 25 deal or five for yeah. 20, whatever deal. And I'm usually, okay, I got the corals that I want. And then my wife would come over and be like, well, what about that one? It's only... Thirty dollars. We'll get that one. So we we do that too. We go over a yeah. little bit, but it's still a lot of fun. So our next one, our next tip for you is to check out the list of speakers. Yeah, they got some pretty amazing speakers lined up, and I'm really excited about some of them this year. For a while there, I I feel like they, I believe I don't think they had speakers last year. I can't remember for sure for the Orlando one, but I'm glad they're bringing back speakers because it's always good, you know. A lot of people go to shows and like to, you know, meet people, but it's also yeah. good, you know, sit down and listen to them, you know, talk about a certain topic because a lot of these people have a lot of knowledge and it's just super fun, you know, and it's definitely something you do when you go to a trade show, sit down a couple of talks and you usually learn a lot. It's always fun. So yeah, definitely check out the speaker list. We'll break it down here for you guys. Yeah. And it's a good way to get your, give your feet a rest, right? I mean, the showroom is pretty big, ton of vendors, uh, walking around, standing up, waiting in line, stuff like that. So it's a good way to sit down, relax, take a load off and then learn something to your point. Yeah. So uh, there's some pretty cool speakers. I'm actually excited about hearing um, one of them. is going to be Ryan from Bulk Reef Supply. Um, he's uh, the co-founder of Bulk Reef Supply and uh, his little uh, thing that they have here talks about how um, he was tired of just adding different foods to his tank. And then through trial and research, he created uh, what we know is bulk reef supplies, reef chili. Um, so I imagine he's going to be talking about that, uh, talking about how to uh, keep healthy fish and corals, uh, feeding that. Um, and he's going to be speaking on Saturday. That's April 20th at 1130. Yeah. And then, yeah, he's awesome speaker. He's very knowledgeable. So that's going to be really unique. Kind of listen to his perspective on what you know, he went through uh, and what he was trying to, you know, accomplish with what he did. And then Saturday as well at 1 p.m., we got Andrew Sandler. You know, a lot of people know him as like the guy with the ginormous tank in his house. He yes. has a huge tank and it's gorgeous. Yeah. So he's me chatting about his journey, you know, and kind of what his plan is for the future with his polo reef campaign and stuff that he's kind of running through, you know, and then talking about coral, you know, conservation and uh, some education and how he's impacting them himself, you know, donating to schools and helping them, you know, get some gear. So a lot of these younger kids can kind of actually uh, jump into some marine biology at a younger age and have the tools to, you know, do it even in New York where he is. Yeah, it's it's really cool what he's uh, trying to accomplish and what he's doing with, with the coral education and conservation, especially with that ginormous reef aquarium that he has just i mean i haven't been there to see it yet it would be really cool to do that i would love to see it in person um i mean anytime you have a aquarium large enough that you have to dive in it to keep it clean like, yeah i mean that thing is huge and then his fish room where all the filtration is and all his extra little tanks and stuff it's just it's i mean amazing. some of his smaller systems are bigger than my aquarium so it's, it's just yeah, and he has all like the you know the rarest fish you could ever think of he probably has it yeah it's really cool because i mean i don't have the money for a lot of that stuff so it's cool to see someone else you know bringing that stuff in still and showing it off and just being able to observe it even like through social media is really cool yeah it's a pretty awesome tank and he's also like really down to earth too you know you can yeah. walk up to I can't remember. I believe he has a booth. I'd have to double check, but he could literally walk right up to him. Usually there's a line, but he's very down to earth. He's willing to mm -hmm. share his knowledge and he's willing to, you know, help you. Maybe if you have some questions or whatever, he's, he's just super down to earth and he's a really good guy. That's really cool. I mean, the, the last time last year when I saw him walking around the show, it was a little intimidating because he had his whole like entourage of social media people and his videographer. And like, he was just being followed by a lot of people, but that's that's cool to know that you can approach him and ask him questions or, or go to his booth and yeah, ask him a question about his tank. So next up we have Nicole 
Helgeson, Worldwide Coral Marketing. She's an avid scuba diver. She travels the world exploring wild coral reefs, contributes to coral conservation efforts, and she creates content about corals and reef aquariums. So it'd be really cool to listen to her perspective of the hobby. Maybe she talks about it from a marketing perspective perspective or just the content creation side, but it'd be cool to hear about scuba diving and world travel. Yeah, I learned a lot from her specifically. Uh, she had this uh, website she used to have that actually helped me learn a lot about pretty much what I know, you know, with Caribbean corals today. I learned a lot from her and I've, you know, done like we've talked quite a bit and we've became decent friends, you know, just conversing about Caribbean corals and such. So she's very knowledgeable with that kind of stuff. And she used to write for like reef builders and now she's kind of doing, you know, helping with Worldwide and doing some other stuff. So it's really cool, you know, and she's very knowledgeable. So definitely, if you have the chance, definitely sit down on this one. It's going to be great. Yeah, and that one's going to be Saturday at 2.30. And then, I mean, if you love checking out the speakers, just sit down and listen to all of them because that lineup right there is is pretty phenomenal. Yeah. But then Sunday, April 21st at 12.30, this one, I'm actually interested in in this one because Josh and Ryan, Josh from Worldwide Coral, Ryan from Bulk Reef Supply, they're going to be talking, well, they're actually going to be doing a live coral fragging demonstration. So that's really cool. You'll get some tips and tricks about fragging corals and you can ask questions about all that stuff. So they're going to be doing that on Sunday. Yeah, that will be really cool. I mean, Josh is a really cool guy I and mean, he obviously does lots of fragging. You know, he works with the farm and stuff at Worldwide Corals. He does tons and tons of fragging on multiple different species of coral so i'm sure they'll probably break down a few different species and you know kind of explain what you need to do and what you need to look out for while you're fragging so it'll definitely help you at home a lot of people think you know you have to have a saw to frag corals but that's not true you know there's a lot right. of other different ways you know especially for soft corals and even hard corals that you can frag so yeah and josh's beard man like he's he's got it down here he's got a pretty awesome beard i'm, yeah. I'm not mine, mine can't, can't do that I can't either. I can't. Like my, I can, I can grow it pretty long, but then it just starts to curl up. I don't, I can't keep it nice and straight like that. So I don't know. Maybe that's one of my questions. What, what are you using in your beard? No, I don't know. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the second speaker on Sunday is from Aquatic Life Designs. He's the founder of Aquatic Life Designs. Steve, super cool guy. I think we have met him once. It's been a little bit, but yeah, he's gonna be breaking down, you know, his experience and stuff at the Georgia Aquarium and uh, some other high-end commercial aquarium services uh, that he uh, does now. So he runs a uh, servicing company um, out of Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, so it's going to be really cool, you know. Uh, there's quite a bit of people out there that do, like, you know, the maintenance and stuff on, like, large aquariums. Yeah. And I'm guessing he's going to be doing some of the quite large aquariums, and especially in Atlanta, there's a lot of, you know, famous people around there that have some giant aquariums, and I'm assuming he probably does quite a few of those. So it'll be nice to hear his perspective on you know kind of what he does and especially if he explains some of his experience at the georgia aquarium obviously that's a ginormous aquarium up in atlanta um if you have the chance to go see it definitely do i have not had the chance and i've driven by it multiple times oh, so really? it, it is amazing dude yeah i literally i can see it from the road every time i drive up to michigan I'm like man i just like on the way back maybe we'll leave a day early sometime soon or something and try it out yeah um, the uh, the manta ray and the the whale shark exhibit like it's insane they are massive so yeah i can only imagine but yeah so definitely check out the speakers and that'll bring us to tip number six tip number six we're talking about make sure you bring an insulated bag if you are planning on buying corals I'm sure you might get bags there at the show but if you bring a bag like this where you have it insulated on the inside there oh there's stuff still in the bag but if you this is a what is this feedmealgae.com bag that i picked up one year at the show but even i don't know if you got a bigger budget bring a bigger bag there you go insulated keep your corals nice and safe what do you think about that yeah, definitely for sure. I mean, a lot. I see a lot of people, you know, bring small coolers or like insulated bags like that, like you just showed. Uh, you know, it also, you know, it helps keep your corals at temperature too, because I'm usually it's a little cold in there. I feel like most of the time. So I mean, leaving it in like a little plastic bag, you know, it, definitely the water's gonna cool off over time, especially especially if you're not able to keep the coral if you're buying it like the first day and you're staying all the, the whole weekend or whatever. If you're not able to leave it in their system, you definitely are gonna want it you know, to stay temperature stable. Cause I've had that yeah. happen sometimes where certain vendors are like, I'm not going to hold it. You got to take it today. So I got to, you know, keep it in that bag and keep it, you know, at temperature for a, like a couple days straight. Yeah. And I mean, I've, I know that 
some of some of the good corals might disappear on you on the first day but if you're staying both days i would probably recommend getting corals on the second day definitely um, that way you don't have to worry about temperature control or keeping them in a bag overnight or sneaking in a little tank or something in your hotel room and setting it up you know or whatever but yeah just get your corals on the second day put them in a bag and you'll be just fine yeah if you want me to be honest with you when i uh Went to Reef of Palooza, California. I brought like a little tiny little like container and used it as a tank because there's a couple corals I got. And I'm like, yeah, we can't hold it for you. I'm sorry. So I took it that day. Had a little bubbler going, you know, keeping yeah. the corals nice and happy. And I think I had the, the room turned up to like 78. Just I could, I could oh, barely just... sleep. But <laughs> hey, the corals made it. So Hey, that's awesome. I mean, that's something similar that, I mean, whenever I set up at Skelly Fest last year, I had to bring corals home, so had a bubbler and stuff in the in the bucket, you know, keeping it yep. going. But yeah, so tip number seven, moving right along here, number seven is there are a ton of freebies at many of the tables there at Reef of Palooza. A lot of vendors have freebies and giveaways that they're going to be offering. Yeah, I mean, almost every table pretty much. And like mm -hmm. some people, you know, might not be like an actual product or something. It might be like, you know, candies or other certain items. Yeah, they're People are like, everyone's in a good mood, you know, they want to help each other yeah. out and like, hey, here's a sample of our product, try it out. That's the one nice thing about trade shows, you get to try a bunch of things, learn a lot. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's always cool to, you know, get some freebies and try some products out at home and you might find something you really like and that you'll end up purchasing down the road, you know, so. Yeah, and even um, you'd be surprised at what some of these products are too. Like it may be stickers and pins and free samples like you're talking about. Or even last year, I believe it was the Nutramar TMC the quality marine booth. Yep. They had a wheel that you could spin and you could potentially win a free coral. And so they had yeah. to take the corals they were giving away. Yeah, there was um, a couple different vendors that had something like that. So that's always fun. Yeah, so definitely be on the lookout for freebies. I believe Reef to Reef, every time they're there, yeah. they have freebies going on, free Reef yeah, to Reef. Yeah, a lot of freebies always. Yeah, a lot of stuff. And a lot of stuff that benefits you and your aquarium too. So it's there are a lot of stickers and pens, but there's like towels. Hey, who needs a good towel and stuff like that? Yeah, so. there's always someone that brings towels. It's Reef to Reef and like Carib Sea. They always have like those nice dry towels. In fact, I have a bunch in the cabinet uh -huh. below this tank. I always use them, you know, to wipe down the glass. They work perfectly. They're usually yeah. pretty cool looking. They got some cool designs sometimes. So Yeah, absolutely. And tip number eight we touched on this earlier yeah so tip number eight pretty much what i mentioned earlier like going to the shows you literally get to talk to the people that manufactured these products and that quite literally designed them you know like julian sprung is going to be at the show so you can ask some questions about products that he specifically designed you know to work how they work and there's lots of knowledge at the show so you can learn like ask about products you know that maybe your like local fish store owner you know or their workers or whatever you know can't necessarily answer your question fully so you definitely it's always cool you know to talk to the people that made it talk to the people that know what the product does and know mm -hmm. what you specifically need for say for your tank you can ask questions hey like what product would you recommend for my tank that i have from your selection you know it's always cool you know to converse with them, learn what they yep. say and learn what they have to think about certain things. Yep. And and a lot of times they have their products running too at yeah, the show. Sure. So they can take them apart and show you exactly how they work. I remember when Coral View was just coming out with like their their version of the roller mat and like algae scrubbers and stuff. They had them on display and you could be like, well, how does it act? actually work and they'll take it apart and show you each sex section and break it down for you and that's always nice to know so you know what you're getting if you do decide to buy that brand you know exactly what you're getting and how it works yeah and one other thing i'd like to mention you know a lot of people think a lot of like these companies are out to make money you know which they are you know you want to make money and be successful mm -hmm. at the show but they're like this one thing i really like about this hobby in general is you know, most people want to help you, you know, they want to help you. They don't just want to, you know, make a quick dollar. There's a few people out there that definitely do, but at the show specifically, I always, when I first started going way back when, like I think Chicago, like 2018 or something, which it really isn't that long ago, but like it, everyone was so helpful to me, you know, explaining, yeah. cause I was just getting in the hobby and people were super helpful, putting me on the right track. Hey, don't buy this coral just yet. You know, I really wouldn't recommend that even mm -hmm. though they could have just said, yo, here you go. Like take, I'll take your 40 bucks or whatever. I mean, everyone's really helpful, especially, you know, like the manufacturers and stuff. They're always willing, you know, to say, hey, like I recommend this specific product for this size tank and what you exactly need and maybe put this in that product or whatever. So, yeah, yeah. everyone really likes to work together. And a lot of these companies, you know, they have like 
certain products that they, you know, combined together and like, so here, like this is a product that I made, but usually you put this product from this company over here inside this reactor or whatever. Like, so everyone's always, you know, always in a good mood and willing to help you. So I always think that's a really cool thing. Yeah, absolutely. And even if you're not there to buy a bunch of stuff, you gain knowledge that way by speaking to these people who make the thing because they can help you with, like you said, any problems that's going on in your tank. You go to a vendor that has a product that's like a solution for that problem. You chat it up about what's going on in your tank and they'll gladly help you. So that's absolutely. Cool. So coming in at number nine, there are a lot of things to do for kids and for the family at Reef of Palooza. They have an entire kid zone and we touched on it. I think I can probably share the screen here and we'll, we can take a look at it. I meant to do this with the speakers earlier, but check this out. This is the kids area here. So they have mermaids for the kids. They have face painting, awesome little tanks and stuff to do right here, a little drawing and coloring stuff. So the kids zone is great because kids 12 and under are free. So I think that's a cool tip to mention. So if you're wondering about going to the show and you have small kids, hey, they have stuff to do. Yeah, that's one thing especially about Reef Palooza that I really enjoy, you know, they try to make it, um, uh, you know, a family show, you know, so you can take your whole family. You don't have to, you know, try to find a babysitter for the weekend or find someone, you know, to take care of the kids or whatever. Um, you can take the whole family. It's fun. And, you know, most kids like to, you know, see the fish. Some vendors have fish and stuff. And, um, you know, a lot of the kids, you know, don't technically know what the corals are just yet. You know, a lot of them think they're rocks or plants or whatever. Uh, but it's always cool, you know, for the vendors to have fish and stuff. A lot of the kids enjoy that. And like uh, Joey said, the kids zone and everything, there's a little bit of everything, you know, for the whole entire family. So it's really cool. And if you are staying at the hotel, there's lots of cool stuff, you know, to do with the kids at the hotel and stuff too. pool, slide, everything. So, yeah, that's 100 percent right. I mean, tons of stuff to do for the entire family. And that's Reef of Palooza Orlando happening this weekend, April 20th and 21st. So literally by the time you're seeing this episode, it is going on. So if you yeah, don't have a ticket, definitely. yeah, if you're close to Orlando, you don't have your tickets, get there, jump right in it. Definitely. So it's happening. And then let me scroll down here. Here's the show schedule here. So the show floor opens at 11 a.m. So make sure you're there early, like the previous tip. Get your goodie bag, make it inside. The showroom opens both days at 11 a.m. And then here's the speakers we were talking about. Yeah, so uh, just enjoy the event. You know, it's a have fun. awesome event. Um, there's lots of things to do, not even just like, you know, the show, uh, mm -hmm. but at the hotel, if you're staying at the hotel and even, you know, um, if you, you know, went through the show, got what you wanted, um, and you're just staying in the Orlando area, you have all like the top names literally in the country in yeah. Orlando. You got worldwide corals, go check out their actual superstore and their winter park store and top shelf living reef. There's plenty of other stores. Orlando is loaded with fish stores. It's always cool you know, to go and check out the actual stores themselves. And a lot of the times, you know, a lot of those stores, especially in Orlando and locally are running, you know, Reef of Plus to sales at their store to encourage people, you know, go check out the stores too. Yeah, we got some nice stuff here, but go check out the store. Um, and a lot of, you know, the vendors don't technically bring fish to the show specifically. Uh, so their stores can be loaded with fish if you're looking for certain fish and yeah. stuff too. Uh, especially, you know, if you drove or whatever, definitely go check out the stores. I highly recommend it. I mean, other than that, I think that's really about it. Just enjoy the show. Have fun. Yep get some corals so yeah absolutely yeah. and there's a lot of display tanks too at the show as well oh, so you can maybe if you're thinking about a certain size aquarium they probably have one of those set up on display for you to check yeah. out with some corals and fish in there but yeah like you said orlando is full of aquarium stores worldwide corals being one of the largest yep ones that are out there to go check out but living reef and top shelf really cool I've not been to Top Shelf yet, surprisingly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so Top Shelf is really cool. Yeah, that, that's probably what I'll be doing is checking out some stores while we're out there too. Yeah. Well, that's our ten, our top ten list, our ten tricks and tips to enjoying Reef of Palooza, making your experience more enjoyable. I think that's all we have, right, Levi? Yeah. One more thing: if you see me enjoy at the show, be sure to say hi. Yeah, we'll be walking around the event, and uh, we'll be doing a couple challenges, huh? Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna. I'm gonna try to. I'm going to do my best this time. I'm going <laughs> to 
We can't, we can't let him have three in a row. Can't let him have three in a row. But it should be fun. Riva Palooza is always a good time. So if you're not hanging out with us at the event and you want to and you're close by, definitely get your ticket. That's where we're going to be. And yeah, if you see us on the show floor, definitely say hi. Absolutely. Thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting. And we'll see you in the next episode. See ya. Yeah.